Hello, thank you so much for coming in. Um, can I just catch your name again? Lovely to meet you. Um, I believe you're the 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's lovely to meet you. Um, welcome to the ASMR Medical Trials. Um, thank you so much for agreeing to participate. My name is Dr. Sophie and I will be submitting you in for the trials today. So uh, this session with myself is going to involve a health check. I need to examine you if that's okay, if you give your consent. Thank you very much. And I'll be doing a relatively thorough examination um, with your overall vitals and your um, body receptiveness so that we can have a almost like a starter um, something to compare to once you have taken the medicines that we will be trialing over the next two weeks um, it's almost like our baseline so then when we, when we compare our results we know what your body regularly responds um, as and then we can see if there have been any changes Okay, great. Um, so I'll be doing that health check on you and there's also a form that I need to go through with you today, if that's okay. It's just going to give you quite a lot of detailed information about the trial itself, what your rights are, um, who you need to speak to, if you have any sort of concerns, and then we'll be going through a consent form as well. Okay, um, and at the end of this session, I'll just tell you where you need to go. Um, you'll be in a private room. Um, sometimes we have private rooms, sometimes we have bunks as part of our medical trials, but um, some of the symptoms for this medical trial can be relatively distressing. So we put all of our participants in singular rooms so that you've got the privacy and space if you end up feeling any of these symptoms and would like a little bit of peace and quiet, okay? Again, we have to ask for your consent, so it's completely up to you if anything feels concerning, worrying to you and you would no longer participate, want to participate, you're more than welcome to not sign the consent form and to leave whenever you feel comfortable, okay? Great. Um, so, let us begin with the medical examination. Um, we'll start off with your vital signs, if that's okay. I'm going to pop some gloves on, just so I can keep you nice and safe from any germs that I might be carrying. Of course, you've got to understand that. Um, with doing medical trials, we come across a lot of different people. Um, so, ergo, a lot of different sicknesses and illnesses, excuse me. Um, so it's important to keep ourselves and other patients nice and safe. And of course, this is an examination as well to consider whether or not you are medically fit to take part in this medication trial. Okay, so firstly, I need to ask you, are there any medications that you are currently on? Okay, that's absolutely fine. Paracetamol is not a problem. Um, we can provide paracetamol to you at select times during the trials as well if you feel like you need okay but there are some symptoms that we don't want to provide paracetamol for because we want to be able to see the symptoms fully present themselves all right great um any medication and are there any current um medical problems that you're having are you um presenting any illnesses today no and how about in the last month just a bit of conjunctivitis. Okay, just give me a second. I'm just going to write this down on the front of the form. Okay, that 
way I know that you've told me that. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so if you're happy to go ahead, then I'll begin the examination. Okay, I just want to just have a quick look at your overall skin quality. Making sure that you don't have any signs of excessive skin dryness or excessive skin oiliness, any pustules or redness scarring. Okay, I'll just stop. All seems fine. I'm just gonna have a feel of your glands if that's okay. Any pain? No? Let's move it down the neck. How about here? No? no? Okay. Let's have a nice little listen to your chest first. Listening to your heart and your lungs. So could just lift your top up, thank you. Have a listen to your heart first of all. Okay, no obvious signs of rhythm or regularity, so if you could just breathe nicely and normally for me to begin with. Okay, then just take a deep breath in. Good. And out. Good. Good. Deep breath in for me. Okay, reaching around the back of you here. Okay, breathe it normally for me again. Good. Good. Okay, and deep breath in. And out. Okay, and in. And out. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. Very good. That sounds all nice and healthy. Put these away. Okay. I want to take your blood pressure next. Make sure that's nice and normal. You could just lift your sleeve. Okay, ready? That's all great. Just take that cough off. Alright, great. Put that down. Okay, next I want to just take your temperature. If I could just pop this in your ear. Okay, let's just try the other ear. Okay, very good. 37.1. And if I could just take your heart rate, I'm just going to pop this on your finger, okay? Just 
give it a second. Okay, we're currently sitting at 97. Are you a little bit nervous? A little bit? Bless you, there's absolutely nothing to worry about, okay. Your blood oxygen's nice and healthy at 97 as well, so. Um, that is great, okay. So, vital signs seem to be in tip-top shape, well done. Um, we will take your blood work as well. Um, I think they're going to come tomorrow morning and do that for you, okay? Um, that's just so that we can keep an eye on all your different levels. Um, I want to do a few different response tests with you now as well. I want to check your um, overall strength, mobility and um, vision responsiveness. Okay, so we're going to begin with the vision. Um, I just want you to keep your head nice and still and follow my finger. Good. So I'm going to bring my hands into your peripheral vision. I just want you to tell me when you can see them. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, let's do that one more time. Good. 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 Great job, well done. Okay, um, now we're going to do a little bit of strength responsiveness. So I'm going to ask you to try and lift your shoulders and I'm going to push them down. Just don't let me push them down. Okay, good. I'm going to ask you to push against my hand. Good. And the other hand. Good. I'm going to try and put your head down. Try to lift it up. Good. And again, I'm trying to lift your head up. Don't push your chin against me. Good. Okay. Push against my hands. Good. And grip my hands as hard as you can. Good. Um, okay, lastly, I just want to do a little skin sensitivity test on you, just to make sure that your facial nerves are working nicely, that you're feeling everything. So, okay, I have two different objects. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes in a moment. One is sharp, so this is a pen. This is how it feels. Okay, so that would be sharp. And then we have a little cotton ball, so this would be dull, okay? So sharp or dull. I want you to close your eyes and just tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Ready? Okay, close those eyes for me. Dull, very good. Sharp, good. Sharp, okay. Good. 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 Very good. Good. see any problems there. All right, my loves, that's all of the um, physical examinations. I'm now going to run through the test form with you. 
some of the info. Um, and then I will give you the medication, alright? Okie dokie, so just have a look at what some of the information I want to read to you. Some of it um, I will give to you and you can read in my time, but I just want to sort of generalised. Um, so, the reason that you have specifically been invited to take part in this medical trial is because you have self-identified as a healthy individual through the medical examination I have done today. I can confirm that so I can sign in there. Okay, so I need to state to you that there are 200 participants taking part in the next two weeks um, and all of them are volunteers as well who have identified themselves as healthy individuals. Um, do you have to take part? The answer is no. Um, it should be clear that taking part is entirely voluntary so you can leave at any time and withdrawal will not affect clinical care. So you are still a patient um, if you decide to withdraw from the trial, but obviously if there's any sort of medical concerns that you have, you are still our patient. We will make sure that you receive all the medical attention that you need. Okay. happens if I do decide to take part. So, um, this is almost like a bit of a hotel, I suppose. Um, it's free accommodation, free food and free entertainment for the, for the next two weeks. Um, we have loads of different films on, televisions, and you have access to iPads and um, the internet. We provide you with three meals, two snacks a day, but, um, you know, the kitchen's open if you ever you know, want just a slice of toast or whatever, you're more than welcome to help yourself. Um, the only thing that we ask of you is that you make yourself available every four hours for monitoring. So we'll all come round, ask you how you're feeling, we will do your blood pressure um, and take your heart rate and do your temperature. Okay, that's all we ask of you. samples. Um, again, we're only just collecting blood, but that is not for the actual medication itself. That is just for our monitoring. So um, you can actually decline that if you want to. Um, must let you know that if we are going to take the blood sample, if you're okay with that, and that there is the possibility of bruising or fainting. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. So side effects. So side effects come in different levels of frequencies. So we would say, for example, there is a one in ten chance of said side effect, or there is a 1 in 100,000, or in a 1 in 1,000, or even more. So very common side effects are 1, to 10, 1 in 10 participants. Common would be 1 in 100, um, or uncommon would be more than 1 in 1,000. Um, so that would be considered sort of a, a, you know, an uncommon rare sort of situation. So side effects for this medication. We have very common side effects which tend to be headaches, dizziness and fatigue. Um, common side effects but, um, you know, not very common, so sort of one in one in a hundred-ish. Um, you can experience some vomiting and diarrhoea but of course um, that's why we've provided these singular rooms because that can be quite a sensitive medical issue. I do have to let you know that there has been 
the rare side effect of anaphylaxis. Um, that's what we are researching within these medical trials, is whether there is a consistent problem with this medication in um, reoccurring anaphylactic shock to those who have um, allergies. Okay, so if there's like a consistent allergen um, in this medication that we need to be concerned about to where we couldn't prescribe it to certain um, individuals who have those particular allergens uh, to you don't have any known allergen um, information, do you? No? Okay, um, but of course because we are concerned about the anaphylaxis um, we have you know, medical monitoring the entire time in your rooms um, will be a button and you will also carry a button, medical alert button with you at all times. Uh, there will always be nurses wandering around um, the space, so, you know, there'll be someone there to take notes and we have um, EpiPens and um, obviously all of the medical professionals, so you all well taken care of. Of course, this, if this has concerned you, you're more than welcome to leave now and not take part. Okay, all right. Um, your GPs should be notified if you have um, participated. Partic your GP will be notified if you are participating in this medical trial as um, it could affect the clinical care of you later on in life. So, do we have your permission to contact your GP? If not, you can't take part. Okay. Um, and we will keep note with your GP as well if there are any medical findings or um, medication findings later on. So that you can be informed. Um, all of this information is confidential, so any of your personal information will any of your personal information will not be given or recorded um, during this time. As soon as we have found our study data, your personal information is destroyed and will not be part of the medical study. Okay? Yes, okay, so uh, you will also be compensated for your time as well, part of the um, trial. You will be compensated um, any work-related fees. Um, you just have to fill out the form um, for that, so you basically just have to declare your usual income and that will be reimbursed for you as well as any um, travel or childcare expenses that you may need because of taking part. All right. Um, Okie dokie. Yep, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I've talked about data. So with data, the only thing that we will be using is your um, assigned sex and your um, age. That will be the only things that are used as part of the data, so things like location, personal name, date of birth, things like that, those won't be specifically entered within the data. And I think we've covered everything. Um, yes, of course, as I say, you will have a medical alert button with you at all times. If you do have a problem, please, please, please um, even if you feel like it's only a very mild symptom, please let us know so that we can put it on record as soon as possible so then we can increase the monitoring for yourself, okay? So even the common um, symptoms, so the headaches and stuff, if you do develop a headache, please let us know as soon as possible because that could be an indication of a more serious um, symptom side effect developing in the future. Okay, so finally on to the consent form. Let me just add your participant identification number. Okay. Okay, so I confirm that I have read the information sheet dated. So as I read to you, um, 
and I have had the opportunity to consider the information, ask questions, and have answered these satisfactorily. Yep. I understand that my participation is voluntary, and that I'm free to withdraw at any time without giving any reason, without my medical care or legal rights being affected. Okay. I understand that relevant sections of my medical notes and data collected during the study may be looked at by individuals um, where it is relevant to taking part in this research I give permission for these individuals to have access to this medical record. Good. If appropriate, I agree to provide a sample as part of my involvement in this study and I understand I will not gain any direct personal or financial benefit from them. So, for example, your blood, you um, we're only taking it as a sample. You will not be reimbursed for the blood that you're giving. Okay. Okay. Um, we won't be taking any audio or video, so that one's irrelevant. Um, I agree to my general practitioner being informed of my participation in the study. We went through that one. Um, I understand that the information held and maintained by the NHS uh, and other central UK NHS bodies may be used to help contact me or provide information about your health status. Yeah, so we can contact you at a further date if there is something that we find worrying. I understand and agree that my samples and um, your symptom responses will be used in research aimed at understanding the side effects of this medication and that results of these investigations are unlikely to have implications for me personally. Okay, I understand that this research is not used for my own medical diagnosis and that these symptoms that I have are not routinely looked at by a doctor if a concern is raised about a possible abnormality, I will be only informed if a doctor thinks it's medically important, such as the finding has clear implications for the future of my current health. Okay. Um, do do Yeah, we're all good. We're not using those. Okay, just write your name. The date of day is the 23rd. Okay, and if you could just sign there for me. Thank you. Okay, and I just need to sign for my consent. Okay, wonderful. So, if you're happy to go ahead, then I am now going to escort you um, over to your private room. I'll show you a little bit the facilities. Um, I think lunch has just started, so once I've showed you around, I'll try and be quick. You can go and grab lunch, okay? All right. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, and if you'd like to follow me, okay, this way. <laughs> 